Hey there, South Jersey. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We go into a roller coaster week when it comes to our temperatures. Today is a summery day, eight degrees above average. But as we go into Tuesday and especially Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures below average. But we're back in the upswing for Friday and especially into the weekend. We'll look at our satellite here for today, and this paints the story for what we have. We have a couple of clouds moving into South Jersey. It's pretty much going to be mostly cloudy for a large part of the afternoon, despite high pressure being just to our south. That's because a cold front is just to our north, and those clouds are with the cold front. But this is going to pass as we go through the night tonight, and then we have another high pressure in Canada that's going to be dominating our air mass for the next four days. That will take us from Tuesday all the way until Friday. And this high pressure system will be diving through New England and then eventually offshore. And when it does get offshore, then we'll be pumping in warmer air for the weekend. Now, there's a couple of showers with this cold front, but I think you're going to stay away from the area. This is 2 p.m. today. They're staying to our north and west. It tries to move eastward, but notice how it breaks up as well. And during the overnight hours, largely stay to our west where the main center of that cold front is and then as we go into Tuesday morning we are drying out everywhere here and we'll see more sunshine as we go into the day tomorrow and plenty of it now going back to the high pressure system I want to show you exactly how this is influencing our temperatures we have high pressure over here in the upper peninsula of Michigan for today that's giving us a northerly wind and keeping us actually pretty warm but as we go into Tuesday through Friday high pressure sits overhead we got more of this northeasterly wind You'll remember last Friday, we had northeasterly winds and a good amount of cloud cover. Now, I don't think we're going to see as much cloud cover as we did last Friday, but we are going to see the cooler temperatures. Notice those greens there. Again, we're talking about temperatures below average, but still comfortably cool for this time of year. Then as we go into the weekend, high pressure dives south. A little bit out of the screen here, but we're going to have this southwesterly flow pumping in and temperatures. Well, it's looking like a good beach weekend here for our second to last weekend of September. Good beach day today, too. We're going to have mostly cloudy sky until about 3 to 4 o'clock. Then we'll break for more sunshine. Temperatures in the 80s just about everywhere except for Long Beach Island. Water weather out here. Look at the water temperatures. Really warm. We're about the peak of our water temperatures throughout the year here in mid-September, and it's showing 75 in Cape May, 74 in Avalon, burn time 35 minutes, surf zone only 2 to 3 feet. It is an excellent day to head out to the shore if you can. Then for tonight, we start out with a partly cloudy sky, then we turn cloudy, but then we clear out as that cold front passes through. Otherwise, it's a fairly seasonable night, and at the shore, low temperatures will be in the upper 60s. And for Tuesday, notice the winds, northeast to the east, blowing in those low to mid-70 ocean temperatures, and that's where we'll be for the day on Tuesday. But with plenty of sunshine, very comfortable and great for all outdoor activities. Hopefully, you can take some time outside to enjoy. Mainland seven-day forecast does look like we get a mostly cloudy sky on Wednesday, Thursday, a stiff east breeze, but we do notice those temperatures climbing back up. And as we go into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, temperatures will be above average. Look at the shore seven day, pretty much the same deal. Looking to be a local summer special with plenty of sunshine. For the latest in South Jersey weather, you can follow me on social media, Facebook or Instagram at JoeMarkWX, Twitter at ACPressMartucci, or the press of AC.com slash weather.